It all began on one of those hot Southern California days when the mercury, like my golf score, had soared into triple figures. The winds of offshore competition were blowing as hot as the Santa Ana's off the desert. I'd just come off a tough inventory control assignment when he walked into my office. Marlo? I'm Marlo. Phyllis Marlo. As soon as he opened his mouth, I knew he was in trouble. I'm in trouble. Come to the right place, pal. Pull up a chair. What's your name, Pilgrim? La Monica. La Monica? Where are you from, La Monica? Santa Monica. What do you do in Santa Monica, La Monica? I uh, make harmonicas. It was a story I heard a thousand times before. After a 20-year marriage, La Monica's distributor was threatening to dump him for some exotic foreign operation that was whispering sweet nothings about higher quality, faster deliveries, and lower prices. A divorce would be disastrous. La Monica was desperate. I'm desperate, Marlo. He gave me a copy of his company's annual report. It was grimmer reading than a Stephen King novel. Is there anything you can do? If I can't straighten things out with acne, well... I always was a sucker for a guy trying to save a business. I told him I'd nose around a little and headed out to La Monica's Harmonica's in Santa Monica. What I found wasn't what you'd call a day at the beach. Things a little slow around here. Yep. How's your inventory? You do have harmonicas and inventory, don't you? Yep. And enough trucks to deliver them? Yep. How about orders? I have plenty of orders for tenors. Tenor harmonicas? Yep. And why don't you ship them? Can't. Factory only made altos. Hey, I couldn't interest you in a couple of thousand alto harmonicas, could I? Nope. The only thing I was interested in was answers from the head of production. I only make what I got parts to make, okay? He had plenty of answers, all right. If I only have parts for altos, I make altos. If I had parts for tenors, I'd make them. I mean, what do you want me to do? Shut down the production line, send everybody home until the parts for the tenors show up? I didn't say they were good answers. Maybe you should talk to the geniuses up in planning. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some baritone harmonicas to build. You've got orders for baritone harmonicas? No, I got parts for baritone harmonicas. I was on my way to planning when suddenly... Quality control, right? Smart girl. How many harmonicas you figure you reject in a day? On a good day? I don't imagine someone like you has too many bad days. You'd be surprised. Sometimes the numbers around here go as high as 10, 15 percent. Big numbers. We've got big problems. Thanks for the help. I know it's here somewhere. Uh, look, I'll just have to get back with you. I'm sorry, there's been a mix-up. We have to change all the production schedules. What kind of mix-up? Well, it wasn't my fault, if that's what you're getting at. Whose fault was it? Maybe you should be talking to sales. Maybe she was right. Maybe I should be talking to sales. It was obvious the sales forecasting methods around this place needed work. You didn't have to be a Leonard Bernstein to figure out La Monica's harmonicas was out of tune with modern business practices. Its internal procedures lacked harmony. Everyone was marching to a different beat. It was time to break the news to La Monica. Well, what's the verdict? Your company is drowning in paperwork that doesn't add a dime to value. You need to simplify, streamline, cut out the waste. You need to introduce your people to total quality management where improvement is continuous where all of your employees can be involved in meeting the needs of your customers through teamwork and planning. You're talking about a massive education and retraining program, Marlo. Well, I, I can't afford that. You've seen my balance sheet. He was right. I had seen his balance sheet. It was one sea of red even Moses couldn't part. I decided to check in with Gus McCoy. What Gus didn't know about business and management wasn't worth knowing. I told him my problem.
And there's more. We're talking APIC certificate training. about has got to cost a fortune, Marlo. Not even close! I like it, Marlo.